Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I will um, introduce how to create a content slot for page. In the unit three, we know how to create custom uh, create a custom component content for the page by adding content or custom component into the template. But this added content seem apply to all pages with you the same template. What does it mean? I will show you now. <coughs> As you see in uh, on the smart edit, uh, currently uh, these uh, two pages are using the same template. You can uh, contact by template, and in this way we have the YouTube video component like this. You see, this is my contact content by test and this is also contact content by test in case we change the other uh, content in on uh, this page the other page will change let's see for example we change the content on uh, this this page let me change it to a fast edit and i will get the uh, um, <coughs> the video ID from this one and I will change into here yeah I will I will change the ID for example I will reply this one before this <coughs> I will save it let's see we are standing on the uh, contact Contact by test tool, right? <coughs> and now I will switch into the other page with uh, using the same the same contact by template. You see? And now I will check this out on this page. You see? It also apply the change into the the same by template so how to separate it this is uh, the the, <coughs> the content for this box in today for this video so the question is how to separate the content for each way without using the same template in this post we will cover this concern clearly following the step below before following the, this step I, I want to mention one thing it's very important in unit 3 I open here this is unit 3 <coughs> uh, when we define the impact in the step 2 now in, in step 3 when we define the impact to link the component <coughs> into the template in here when we link the component YouTube video components into the template contact with template and uh, we need to create the content slot for template in here we need to allow to override true what does it mean it mean by default when we create a new page based on the template it will use the default value default value here then a video id will use the default id here for the page but in case we custom for the specific page with have the specific video it will allow override the content for the YouTube video component okay yeah let's go now we go into the step one create a new data for the YouTube video component 
step one for example um, I, I will get uh, this link let's see what what is it this link okay. yeah this is written got talent so I, I will get the DID of this link I will paste into this location uh, firstly we need to copy uh, this impact okay, I will paste into here that we you need the data for the new in uh, the, the new instance for the video component okay with this ID and width and height now we move to the step through create content slot for new data what does it mean when we create new instance for the YouTube video component we need to register this instance into the content slot so I will copy this one as well. This step through. Step three, add the content slot into our page. So after we have the content slot, we need to add the content slot for the page. I will copy this one and I will explain later. Okay in here you see uh, sorry I haven't copied yet yes I need to copy this mm. you see <coughs> I will remove uh, this uh, the macro because uh, we only uh, use one in the top that's e that's okay from here that enough and now i will explain a little bit firstly we when we create instance for the youtube video component with the id is uh, video cms component 2 and after that we need to link this uh, instance into the content slot in here we have a UID a uh, YouTube video component uh, uh, slot 2 with the ID from here and next we need to link or uh, register a uh, link the this content slot into the page which we want to uh, override which when which we want to uh, display on the specific page for example, uh, this is the CMS uh, item ID for the page. You see here. So, for example, uh, I will back into page and set contact. Right. In here we have uh, two pages, right? and now i want to uh, have the different content for uh, the second page for example this page i need to get the id from here right and i will paste into here okay keep this position has existed in the template you remember is in the unit tree we have the uh, we we uh, we divide the the position in here here yeah we have the content slot name YouTube video this little position that's the position on the template we need to use this the, the ID for the position we uh, we want to override okay 
and the UID you can uh, put any name you want but remember that it must be unique all right that that's a step three right now let's move on the step four before we verify the result we need to skew this in this impact first okay i will copy this and scale it uh, no current heater for the mm, something wrong here no current heater for value line so we need to I got it. Uh, we need to remove some uh, some light not uh, maybe it not uh, appear not uses we need to remove some light Something like this okay yes okay. copy again right Control C and Control V. Import the content. Okay, import uh, successfully. We uh, will check uh, the result on the page. Currently, we have two pages, right? I will open the open the first page to test yeah still keep the same content in the beginning of the video I will back to check the second page let's check it out awesome now you see the chain it apply to the second page and it uh, not effect into the the first page so that's all please subscribe to my channel to m motivate me and also get the notification when i publish a new video thank you and see you in the next video